Collaboration when it comes to live content can be very difficult for a multitude of reasons, and we're hopefully gonna be past that by using this new tool from Streamlabs Desktop called CollabCam. It's integrated directly into Streamlabs Desktop and it gives you a ton of features. You can invite up to four guests with Prime and one for free if you just want to do one. If you've got Prime, you can actually, you know, have four other people or four other cameras be added in through this, which is really cool. It's multi-platform. It's gonna work with things like YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Trovo, and many, many more. And you can use it for just adding other cameras or other guests if you want to. So if you're doing a video podcast, this would be a really nice way of doing that, especially if you wanna do that live. And it is all inside of Streamlabs. That is the best part. You don't need third-party software and you can add guests and multi-stream right inside of Streamlabs desktop and it's easy to use. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead and jump over the computer so I can show you CollabCam. All right, so now we're over the computer and now we're gonna walk through the steps of adding in a, another person through CollabCam. I'm actually just going to be doing this on my cell phone, but this would work perfectly if you had, say, a friend that wanted to join on, say, their desktop computer or their laptop or something else, or even if they're using Streamlabs as well for desktop, they could actually use that and integrate that if they wanted to. So it's, it's really, really neat and easy to use. So to get started, the first thing we wanna do is click this plus here, and we're gonna add a source. What we're gonna add is the CollabCam source. And once we go ahead and add this, this is actually something I wanna mention. You wanna go ahead and try to label these um, pretty well because they could actually be very robust and similar to different camera setups. So if you want to, and you know what you're gonna be using these for, probably go ahead and give these a good name. So I'm gonna actually just name this um, guest collab cam, and I'm actually just going to type in guest, and I'm actually gonna do CC for collab cam. So we know that this is the guest collab cam and we're going to enable the collab cam service to start running. And that is actually going to generate us a link. So our viewers or our, <clears throat> or our co-streamers that is, can actually go ahead and join in with us. So we actually get to go through here and set what our source will be. Um, this is what our guest, if they were going to join. So let's say if we had our imaginary friend, Billy on the other side and Billy's just like, ah, I'm gonna click this link. How am I gonna hear Chad? How am I gonna see what he's doing so I know how to comment on that? This is how you select that. So I could actually go through and I could add different sources down through here. Um, so I would select a video uh, input source, which would be my webcam. But if you had other video input sources, you could select that. And then the microphone source is going to pull your main microphone that you're using. But if you have other audio uh, sources there, you could use those as well. And then the video source is what they are actually going to see. So you could actually make it the webcam so they could see exactly what's going on just on my webcam. Or we could actually set it to the whole scene, which is actually just named scene right now. So sorry about that. That's very generic, but uh, that's how that works, right? And then all they have to do is click, all you gotta do is click copy and send this to a friend. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm gonna pull that up here. So all they'd have to do is paste this into their browser, or they could just click on the link, like if you pasted it into something like Discord. And then they need to allow their microphone and camera to be used. And once that's done, it will ask them for their name so I could put my name is Billy and I'm gonna be Billy Madison. <laughs> and we can select our microphone in here as well. And then we can select our camera. I'm going to set mine as OBS's virtual cam. That way you can see something come through, um, mainly because all of my cameras are being used at the moment. And then we could select our audio as well. So this is where we would want to hear from. So let's say they wanted to hear from this source and you can see you do have the ability to join with Streamlabs. So if they had Streamlabs, they could actually just join directly through there and it'll pull that information. But to keep it simple, they can click join and join through their browser. And we can now see what this looks like here. So they can see me and they can also see my streams POV. So they're seeing me as if we were having a regular conversation, 
but they can also see what stream is seeing over there and they get a view of the chat. So if we're interacting with the chat for like a video podcast, this is great. Um, and they can also see their own camera. They can mute themselves and stop sharing video at any time, or they could even do a screen share. But let's go ahead and enable both of these. And I'm gonna move this out of the way and we're gonna look at what we see. So we're gonna go ahead and click close. Like I said, if you want more than one person or one camera to be able to add, um, upgrade to Prime and you will actually get up to four of these. It's really neat that this is all integrated. And we also get prompts to see that guests have showed up right down there, which is really nice to know. And we can see that we actually have the collab cam or the guest collab cam set up, but we're not seeing anything out of it. And that's because it does not show up unless you enable it, which is actually a really nice feature go ahead and mute that because that was coming back through my headphones. <laughs> I could hear that. Um, but yeah, so we could see that we would be able to see the other person's camera. And if we go back into the collab cam, we can see it's still only showing their camera. But if we go into properties, Billy here actually has a, another source. And we can assign that to guest collab cam. And now we're going to show Billy's screen right here. And let's click on that again and show on screen. So, or on stream. So there we go. So now we have Billy's screen, screen. I can't talk today for some reason, but yeah. So we can see that. And as you can see, this can get into a complete effect of uh, just the matrix of just absolute video sources, especially if you're doing this on your own computer. But uh, in, in all actuality, this is normally not what you're going to see. Um, it's going to look quite a bit different than this um, because you're not going to be doing it. It's going to be a guest joining, not you joining two or three times. So it's that easy and you can even go in there and change that back. And now you can see Billy again if we're pretending that this is some guy named Billy. But yeah, it is that easy to use and it provides a ton of collaboration features because you can easily set up things like a video podcast. You can have their microphone and audio come through. I don't know if I really highlighted that too well, but down here um, there is audio coming through. Um, so you can route in audio for your guest um, or your other cameras POV if you're using it for that. You can swap back and forth between showing cameras to also showing things like their desktop or just their screen, or if they're using Streamlabs desktop, you could even kind of integrate that and showcase that output as well. So ton of features. It's really easy to use and it makes collaboration for live video way easier than it's ever been. And I'm really happy that this is a feature and it's going to be really awesome for streamers to see how they use this moving forward. So there it is. That is CollabCam for Streamlabs desktop. Let us know in the comments section down below. What do you think about it? Um, do you plan on using it? And if you are using it now, um, what neat use cases have you came up with for this tool inside of this really neat package that is Streamlabs desktop? And if you don't have Streamlabs desktop, check out the description. We'll have a link to that as well. Go ahead and click that, download it, install it, start messing with it and figure out all the neat stuff you can do with it because we've actually got quite a few videos. Check out the playlist as well. We've got some Streamlabs videos that cover some of the really neat tools and features that they've added to it over the past few years. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.